Hey everyone, this is Ty and welcome to the channel. So today we are going to be installing this Vivid Black Chin Spoiler by Advin Black on my 22 Lowrider ST. So I've already done a little bit of the unboxing here to save a little bit of time. So we've got the Chin Spoiler here. Um, this is actually a really good product. I mean, it feels heavy. It looks like it might be plastic and kind of flimsy. It's like a very heavy type of fiberglass. You've got the, the wire mesh here uh, for, the, for the air intake, I suppose. But anyway, it's all in all, it's just a very heavy, um, good sturdy feeling product. And then also in the box, you get your mounting bracket and um, some hardware. So I figured what we would do at this point, let's head out in the garage, let's get this install started and see what it looks like on the bike. So before I started on this project, this was the radiator guard slash chin spoiler that I already had on the Lowrider ST. It was by Radguard. I've got a couple videos on this one. We're gonna be replacing this. If you don't have anything on your motorcycle from the factory, this is the piece that you're gonna have. And it fits in just like that. So you take off that one screw right there, this plastic piece pops off and you are good to go. Let's start by removing the two 3 16 Allen bolts on both sides of the voltage regulator. Now let's get the mounting bracket in place behind the voltage regulator and secure on both sides. Now let's get that top bolt installed to hold the chin spoiler in place and then tighten everything up with the two bolts on bottom. Well, it's the day after I've got the chin spoiler installed. When I finished everything up last night, it was dark outside, so I couldn't bring it out here to show you guys. So I just wanted to provide a little bit of feedback on the way that it looks and the installation. I think it looks great. It's a cool looking product. It gives the Lowrider ST and any other soft tail you put it on. It's gonna be a good look. It's sharp, feels like a good quality product. But I do have one major gripe about the install. Now this could be a lack of my mechanical expertise when it comes to doing stuff like this. Um, but uh, for somebody with my skill level, I think it's I think it's a valid complaint. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. So on the Advan Black website, if you take a look at their installation video, you'll see that this piece, this whole chin spoiler here, it's notched out right here. So it's a lot easier to get this mounted in. With me, I had to put the bolt through and then thread the nut on the back. And there's just not a lot of room back through here. I mean, it's almost impossible especially if you got big old banana fingers or whatever you're just not going to get back there it's just not going to happen it was a really tough <laughs> install to get that get that bolt on i'll also add that in my novice skills of doing things like this i dropped a wrench back behind here that got stuck it took me and my wife about an hour and a half to get that wrench unstuck from back behind that radiator it was such a pain in the rear end. Like I said, is that anything a strike against Advan Black or the design of the product? No, it's probably just, again, my lack of doing things like this. So that's my feedback on it. I want to show you guys what it looks like here and then uh, we'll wrap this video up. Thank you guys very much for joining us today. Lacey and I appreciate your time very much. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you guys have an excellent day. We'll talk to you again soon.